Let's see, could you introduce yourself for the viewing audience, brother? Yeah, my name is Wendell Phillips. I'm from Lansing, Michigan. This is a world first. Now, we're talking to the black man who invented the 30 second shot clock that changed the modern. 24 LED. 24 second shot clock, correct? LED. Yes, that changed yeah. the modern day game of basketball in America and the world. That's who we're talking to, right? That's right. Right after I graduated from Marquette University, I um, came up with the idea with sketches and then eventually I developed the concept of attaching a LED light to a backboard and then I wanted to get the rim lighted up and I wanted to also get a what they call the net as well. I went out and acquired a licensing agreement which eventually became a patent on the rim. And uh, from that point, uh, I got my DBA and I got incorporated with the state of Michigan and I contacted Dactronics. I got my DBA and I got incorporated with the state of Michigan and I contacted Dactronics and told them about the concept. I subcontracted with a company outside of Livonia, Michigan, right outside Warren, between Warren and Livonia in that metro area of Detroit. And uh, we were all set up to manufacture, um, flew out to University City, I believe it was called, Century City, and met with Magic Johnson's uh, agent, Ron Lawson, and R Lon Rosen, actually, uh, Magic's buddy, Dale Beard. Uh, his brother, Robert, at the time, was living out in L.A., and we drove out there, I made an appointment. Things were starting to move forward into the NBA. What happened was uh, Trent Tuckler, Tucker, who's here in Minneapolis now, he uh, was playing with the New York Knicks and... Uh, Jackson being looking for Ewing. Tucker launches it. It's gone! It's gone! Yes, it is possible to shoot with one-tenth of a second left. What happened was... Um, they were tied, Chicago Bulls and New York Knicks, and uh, Trent Tucker shot it in midair and uh, hit a three, and uh, Phil Jackson was livid behind it because you burn a tenth of a second just when the ball touches your hand before you even release it, and so it, that became controversial. Yes, it is possible to shoot with one tenth of a second left. What really made the light switch come on for me to really put it all together uh, is with the Fab Five and uh, Chris Webber was um, in a position to call timeout. He should have shot the ball three seconds left, but when he looked up from the corner, there was nothing to indicate the time running out. When you see right now in the gyms now, in the arenas, you'll see the acrylic three second. Mm -hmm. That concept emerged from the backboard as well. In 1997, I started seeing my backboard pop up, my uh, billboard concept pop up. So, you know, it's not just the, the backboard itself. The LED concept uh, was an inducement to pave the way to your uh, digital billboard sign that you see in the city, stoplights, advertisements, the whole gambit. 
what can you say to the brothers and sisters out there that are talented, innovative like yourself, creative, and come up with ideas? How much of a struggle is it to bring those ideas to fruition or even to protect those ideas? Well, you know, right now, before I get into the legal trauma, um, the adversity in that capacity, uh, you never know who's watching you. Right now, I have a nephew. It's in the basketball community. Uh, he is, his name is Marshawn Johnson, and he happens to be a, a cousin to Magic. We all from Lansing, and uh, basketball is, is something very interesting. My sister won a scholarship to the University of uh, Minnesota playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Well, Marshawn has a patent pending and he's doing infomercials on uh, basketball where you can bounce the ball underwater and it uh, uh, gives your hand-eye coordination uh, dexterity skills. Mm -hmm. And it's also good for people in martial arts. So all I can say at this point as far as being influential, the dynamics of what I struggle uh, makes me want to be more voiceful to letting people know, especially the black community, mm -hmm. is that uh, uh, anyone who's innovative from the way they dress, articulate how they talk, uh, we should be open to promote our youth, and you never know who's watching you.